Chris Olds, Beckett Sports Card Monthly here. I'm back with another Rip and Retail Retro video. And it's something that, that uh, I kind of have a guilty pleasure for if it's cheap enough. Um, something that's from the late 80s, early to mid 90s. Ran the gamut in baseball, football, basketball, hockey, wrestling, racing, and more. Action packed. As I showed in my baseball video, this is a box of 1994 action packed football. A factory sealed, as it says right here in tiny letters on plastic wrap. Very non traditional format for this year's boxes. Never actually opened the whole box, although I've ripped into some a box that's worth clearly in the past. Let me uh, get my trusty pen here to poke open the plastic for the first time in almost 20 years. And I will show you what, what, it, what it's all about. For those of you who do remember Action Packed, you may not remember it fondly necessarily. Um, there was a company that did embossed cards, and the fronts of these packs kind of give you a hint of it. It's literally a card you can feel. And uh, they started in 1988 and ran until about 1996 or so as a standalone company. 1997, they were pulled into the Donruss Playoff, one of those companies' portfolio, and they are now part of the Panini Library, Panini America Library of Trademarks. So, this is uh, one of my favorite years, and here's actually the card that I really like. Randall Cunningham, who I collected back in the day, he's one of the players shown on the packs. But the uh, these are different, and as you could probably figure out, even the packaging stands out for this year. It's a plastic tray with a fronter and a backer, cardboard-wise. And uh, the backs have information about sweepstakes and action-packed mammoth. Classic idea. 8x10, large embossed cards. Anyway, I'm going to rip in here. Action Pack is the home of gold leaf cards. Oh, they're not... I don't... I forgot. I thought they were in a plastic wrap inside the tray. They're just in the tray. So, your wrappers are actually somewhat collectible. I think they're numbered right there. Nothing on the backs, of course. But you can see the process where... Well, maybe you can't. There's, there's a, there you go. There's embossing on the cardboard, and then three panels of each card are folded together and glued. So here we go. Sterling Sharp is on the very first card in the batch, and it's a fun one because it's got an error. That's Shannon Sharp in the photograph, his brother. But anyway, so the standard cards from this year, Action Pack, see all the embossing. I don't know if you can pick that up there. No, you can feel all the detail in the photograph. They're glossed on the player. They're not glossed on the background of the image. Very simple design this year's for, for this year's football set. Just a name and an arc and a logo. There are 24 karat gold cards. There are other inserts. And let's see what I get. Here's one of the subsets. I don't even remember. Quarterback club, I believe. Oddly, this guy's not a quarterback, but he was part of the club. Uh, Michael Irvin. Or maybe it's the Team NFL. No, it's quarterback club. So anyway, that was a uh, short-lived group. Kind of a I think it was a rival to the MLB or the NFL. Yeah, it was a rival to the NFL Players Association for a short amount of time that caused some chaos on cardboard. But then everything worked itself out later. Chris Dolman, Vinny Testaverde. Here's the backs. Backs have a slight embossing to them. Just the name at the top is embossed. You probably see that popping out there a little bit. The seam of where it's folded and glued is here so this is a small panel large panel and they just fold them over and glue it Troy Aikman and I don't remember what this subset's called ah yes fantasy forecast let me touch the card here in the upper right hand corner there's a panel with it's heat sensitive reveals where this player is forecast Anthony Miller 25th best and oddly he's card number 23 in the set so can't just figure out how they rank based on their cards. No, that was in pack number one. So like I said, plastic, as we're traditionally used to today, 
a backer, a front, and a tray, which actually has the action-packed logo on it as well. You gotta love that. All right, Rod Woodson. One of the great things about this set in my mind is the photography. Here's an example why. Jerry Rice, very strong photograph. You can feel, you're right there with him. You can feel a game with the embossing. That's what we, that's what we had before the days of jersey cards. Chris Spielman, Michael Irvin, Gary Brown, I'm not even going to worry about his forecast. How about Brett Favre, quarterback club? Hmm, just a pure silver embossed. Doesn't look much like him. I don't remember the details on what came in which packaging. Uh, there are gold versions of those cards. I don't think they're the gold, and you know, actual gold. There are also um, uh, gold signature, where there's just a gold kind of a facsimile signature across the fronts of the cards. I'm hoping they're in this version, but I really don't remember. Ben Coates, and I didn't have one of the football annual books here to tell me. Randall Cunningham, big fan of that card when it's mammoth. Bruce Smith and Jay Novacek. Also keeping my, op my eye open for a 24 karat gold card. Ernest Givens, another one of the inserts in this one. I kind of like these. They're very catchy looking, no pun intended. Catching Fire, and another Sterling Sharp. This time, it's not his brother on the back. Next pack, Drew Bledsoe, one of the big rookies from the previous year. Now, Action Pack was released in a pair of series. There aren't going to be any draft picks in this one. They're in the second series or updates or whatever they called it that year. So we won't see any of those guys, but we're going to see everybody else. Steve Young, a photo so dark it's hard to see anything in it. Anthony Miller, Derek Thomas, not much going on there, but it's embossed. Uh, let's see here, Ray Childress, a little Barry Sanders action. Let's see where he forecasts. Ninth, no love. Barry Sanders, ranked ninth. What's that guy got to do? Another Troy Aikman card, this time the embossed. <clears throat> I've only opened like three, four packs, five packs now. It's a lot of space, but not a lot of cards. It's only uh, six cards per pack. I'm trying to keep track of all the packaging here. I'm a big fan of this brand, just because you don't see it as much as a lot of the other stuff. Upper deck, you'll find the boxes. Tops, you'll find the boxes. I haven't seen a box of action packed in ages. Happened to find a, a dealer online that had some at a cheap price. Figured, what the heck, do a video, do a little column or something. Another Brett Favre, same card. Shannon Sharp this time. How does he forecast? 18th. Now he's a Hall of Famer, you know. Alvin Harper. Neil Smith. Vincent Brisby. Ronnie Harmon. Pretty brutal pack there. I don't remember uh, exactly where the gold signature cards came from. I'm hoping they're in here, but I bought a lot of these at Walmart. Sometimes Walmart's had bonus cards back in the day. Rod Woodson, Chris Spielman again, Michael Irvin again. Keith Jackson, not the announcer. And two more dupes of pretty solid players. Jerry Rice, Troy Aikman. I'm trying to keep all the stuff stacked up here cleanly. Here's another one. Rick Meyer on the front of this pack. Warren Moon, now with the Vikings. Shown as an oiler. Another good photograph, although it's real tight, so there's not a lot going on. Herman Moore, that one really stood out back in the day. Let's see here, Donnell Wolford, Chris Carter, David Klingler. Whew. Do a quick pause here. I had to check a message. I'm back. It was a long message. It made me worry it was important. Not really.
actually. Check this out. Steve Young on the pack. Steve Young in the in the pack. Hey, look, another David Klingler. E. Anthony Miller, Derek Thomas, Ray Childress, Barry Foster. Again, actually, no, that's the first one for him. I went through that first series of these, thinking the inserts were in here. Might be wrong. The uh, update series had a lot more players in it, but I don't recall, I don't remember what the deal was. Maybe I'll pick up another box if they're still available. Here's a Bernie Kosar, and I really don't remember his hair being all that snazzy back in the day. Andre Risen, Rowdy Hampton, Andre Reed, Steve Beerline, Willie Davis. Some of those guys are guys that I got rid of almost 20 years ago. Certainly don't have them now. <clears throat> Dan Marino, quarterback club. Barry Sanders, still underranked. Greg Lloyd, Seth Joyner, Thurman Thomas, Michael Haynes. No gold cards. I'm looking for gold gold leaf cards. Let's see if the odds are on these things. I don't think they they. Eh. Well, they are on here. Let me check. I couldn't read because of the glare of the plastic. One in ninety six. Odds aren't with me. Calvin Williams, Ernest Givens, Andre Risen, Alabama's finest, Cornelius Bennett, Tim Brown, Phil Sims. He's still losing his hair, even in embossing. Oof. Here's a fun card. The uh, something's messed up on it. I can't figure it out exactly. Part of it looks right, part of it looks wrong. The action pack logo down here in the corner is clearly got a little duplication going on. I'm, a, I'm bringing the knowledge on this, uh, this box, aren't I? I'm the baseball guy. What, what do you expect? It's a pretty small set. There's only a couple of insert sets that I remember. And I'm getting a whole lot of dupes. Warren Moon, Ricky Prohl, Herman Moore again. Marcus Allen, Bernie Kosar again. Back in the day, you weren't guaranteed anything per box, so the ratios and the collation wasn't always that friendly. That's okay. I'm ripping for fun. Not much in here that's too expensive. Ricky Jacksack. John Randall. David Klingler, base card. Got to show that off. He was huge back in the day, right? Charles Haley. Another dupe, and uh, Irving Fryer catching fire. No, no uh, poetry intended. <clears throat> These definitely stood out back in the day. That's all I. That's all I truly can say about it. They're just plain different. And speaking of different, this pack is a little different in that it had a checklist inside along with a special offer to get a proof sheet for $26. Hmm. I wonder how many people have proof sheets sitting tucked away. Oh, I have a 24 karat gold card. How about that? I would have never noticed unless it was stamped. Andre Bad Moon Rising, Catching Fire, 24 karat gold. That strip in the middle there, it's made of gold, and it's got a stamp telling me right there. It's also numbered G24 on the back, just for giggles. So there you go. I beat the odds. How about that? Not bad for a, a box for less than 20 bucks with more than 20 packs. Eugene Robinson, Simon Fletcher, Jeff Hostetler, Chris Miller, Terry McDaniel. Good thing there was gold in that pack, because that pack was atrocious. Whew. Brutal. But there you go. Gold. On a pretty solid player. Would have been cooler if it was Randall Cunningham, but, you know. Steve Young again, like the third time in this box. Seth Joyner. Wow, all dupes. I'm not even going to bother telling you who they were. All dupes. And not really even good ones. 
Chris Miller, Chris Carter. Here's a card I never got back in the day. That's fun. Joe Montana, rocking the Chief jersey. Another very sweet card, I think. Probably one of my favorite photos in the set. Emmett Smith. Gotta love the embossed on a little Emmett. So I like that card. Really cool looking when it's uh, <clears throat> really cool when it's a, a mammoth card. Jerome Bettis. Ron Moore. I think I have a couple of these that are 24 karat gold. For some reason, when I got a couple of them in the past, they all came out of that subset. I have a, maybe I'll get lucky and pull another. Uh, these are definitely some work to get into, unlike uh, other packs. And unfortunately, they're probably easily tamperable, too. Warren Moon, Cornelius Bennett, Andre Risen, Chris Warren, Irving Fryer. All dupes except for this guy. The base card of Andre Risen. <clears throat> Seen a lot of uh, Drew Bree or Drew Bledsoe on these these pack fronts here. I'll admit, through the years, I only held on to the Randall Cunninghams, but I don't think they made one of my last couple of moves. This is a Boomer Esiason card, but I swear it looks like John Gruden here. Don't you think? Eric Pegram. If he's ranked higher than Barry Sanders, okay, 24th. Eric Martin, Garrison Hurst, Jim Kelly, Sean Gilbert. Wow. Haven't heard that name in a while. About six more packs to go. I may have to go order the uh, update pack and do another video here just for fun next week. John Randall. David Klingler, Charles Haley, Barry Foster, or sorry, Eric Green. They're both Steelers. Ron Moore, not much going on there. <clears throat> Here's another fun pack. Greg Lloyd, Chris Carter, Joe Montana again, Emmett Smith again, John Gruden here again. Here's, a, here's an odd card. It's got a little manufacturing error. See how the fantasy forecast football is showing a little bit there? The little goop machine, whatever you want to call it, the gloss with the heat-sensitive stuff, apparently missed. So now when I put my finger over it, there you go. And actually, this entire... No, no, it's, it's correct. The rest of the card is very... There's not a lot of gloss on the front of this card because the player is so small. Only the player is glossy. The rest of it's embossed, but not glossed, or something like that. All right. Herschel Walker in an Eagles uniform. I like that. Boom. Eagles were my team back in this era. I'm kind of retired from football cards now. Obviously, I'm unretired for today. Maybe a day next week when I rip another one. Brett Favre. Michael Dean Perry, Ricky Waters, John Elway. His crazy looking goofy teeth look just as fun in Boss, don't they? The odds of me finding a second gold card are pretty slim, although I have pulled more than one in the past, so I should be checking closer, but uh, I haven't. I'll do it after I'm done. Ricky Waters again, Eric Allen. Michael Jackson. Remember this guy? Hee <laughs> hee. Well, when he, uh, when the other Michael Jackson got in trouble, this guy changed his name. It's funny. Well, here's a fun card. Jerome Bettis. You're after his rookie season. Or is that Ricky Irvin? Or, oh, it's not. It's Reggie Brooks. Rookie, I think. Yep. And here's a guy I always pulled, seemed to pull plenty of and never wanted. Jeff Hosteller. Because that's the face you really want to see in the uh, silver foil. Only two packs left. Garrison Hurst, Jim Kelly, haven't seen yet here at all. And another John Elway. That's like three. 
in my final pack. Troy Aikman's on the front. Uh, got some uh, guys I haven't seen before here. Roosevelt Potts. Drew Bledsoe. Eric Metcalf. Ronaldo Turnbull. Remember that name? Marcus Allen. And last but not least, another Reggie Brooks. Kind of an etched foil action on that one. So, now my tray is empty. Weirdest wax box ever. Um, I'm a big fan of Action Pack. Very simple technology that was probably actually kind of pricey to pull off. Very fun and dramatically different packaging that you can even collect. You know, fun cards. This one isn't the best looking card, but uh, 24, 24 karat gold cards were one in a hundred packs out of a two dollar pack, I think, something like that. I don't remember exactly what the cost was, but 20 years ago it wasn't that much. So tell me what you think in the comments below about some action packs. See if my, uh, tell me if I'm alone in my affinity for the embossed cards. Or, you know, maybe you guys out there like them too and needs to bring them back. Who knows? So anyway, until next time, Chris Olds, Beckett Baseball, or Beckett Sports Card Monthly in this case, just keep ripping.